beautiful people. Welcome back to my channel. Continue on to day two of my seven days of abs. Um, this workout killed me. Um, I like to add some type of high intensity exercise in it. It's the same style as yesterday's ab routine. The next couple days may be the same, may be different. Whatever I'm feeling, I can already tell you guys that I'm super sore after day one. Now being day two, this workout killed me just as bad because I was already sore. But you know what? That's not the point of it. The point of this is to push ourselves hit our abs because I know a lot of people don't and they're like me and they hate training abs and just push ourselves and to do this for seven days straight even on your off days 15 minutes 10 minutes of abs even if you only do half of what I'm doing push yourselves and get yourself out there again I hope you guys enjoy this little series maybe I will bring some more series like seven days of legs seven days of hit I know it's not good to train the same thing every day unless you're taking it light but hey why not give it a try? I would not mind. I think it would be fun to try some new things out. I hope you guys enjoy this video. If you guys are new to my channel, then you know what to do. If you are returning, I love you. And I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you're ready, then let's just get right into the video. Like I said, today's ab day workout, which is day two of seven days in a row for abs, is going to be the exact same setup as yesterday's. But if you haven't seen yesterday's video, then I will go ahead and link it down below, up in the video, somewhere for you to get your hands on it so you can check out day one of my seven day abs. But the way this works is you're going to have three exercises. You will perform each exercise for one full minute. You'll have 30 seconds rest in between each exercise. And once you are finished with the first round of all three exercises, you will take a one minute break and then repeat the entire circuit for two more rounds in that same order. So again, this is only a 15 minute ab workout. If you perform it for three circuits, that is what makes it 15 minutes, but if you decide that you wanna push yourself and make it even harder, then go ahead and challenge yourself to four or five rounds. Now, I didn't wanna push myself too crazy knowing I was going in for seven days, knowing that I don't train abs, and the last time I trained abs, my abs were sore for or about four or five days. So to me, I just figured I'd stick with a quick 15 minute little ab circuit and do it like that. But like I said with this, when I do abs, I like to put in some high intensity type of workout, whether that's mountain climbers, box jumps, um, jumping over a bench, bench hops or high knees, jumping jacks, something that I know is going to activate my core and get me a little sweaty and then really feel that burn because that's what's gonna help burn fat around your abs, whether it's your obliques, your lower abs, your upper abs, your just entire core itself, that's what's gonna help with your abs and getting them all ready to go. So our first exercise that you saw was high knees. So you're gonna perform that exercise for one full minute. And then jumping in to this next exercise, these are called cross body V-ups. So if you know what a V-up is, it's basically where your upper body and your lower legs and your lower body come up and meet in the middle. And those are killer. So I decided not to torture myself completely. And these, holy cow, will burn like no other. So I went ahead and did these. Basically, you take one arm and one leg and just meet up at the top. So it's kind of like a V-up, but it's about half as easy if you want to say it like that. And moving into our final exercise of circuit one, or for all the circuits, these, I just call them dead bugs. I'm not really sure what else to call them. They don't seem difficult, but I can tell you they're silent but deadly. And these target your lower abs. Probably one of my favorites for doing lower abs. I did these a few weeks ago, maybe three weeks ago, and I held a 10 pound plate up and over my head. I couldn't roll out of bed the next day. That's how sore I was. So, so this is definitely one of my favorite workouts or one of my exercises that I like to incorporate when I do abs just because it's so simple yet it's super effective. Um, again, if you want to challenge yourself, go ahead and place a plate or a ball, something up over your head, keeping your shoulders nice and tight locked out so you don't drop that item on top of your head and you're simply just going to alternate legs by kicking them out. The key to this isn't to go fast. You want to take it nice and slow and just let one leg come out, come back in before you let the other leg reach out. But again, this is me moving on to round two. With these high knees, you really want to focus on getting those knees up as high as you can. This was after a leg day. Um, I know it's seven days of abs, so if you've got legs, you got to do it, but don't recommend doing a super hard leg day super sweaty leg day and then jumping into abs because these high knees, my thighs and my butt were on fire. I was sweating and as you can see, I stopped a couple times, had to catch my breath because this was kicking me in the butt. But again, 
three circuits. If you want to push yourself, challenge yourself, hit four or five rounds, let me know in the comments below. You're going to perform three exercises for a full minute each with 30 seconds of rest in between each exercise. And at the end of circuit one, you're going to take a one minute break and then go into circuit two and then so on and so forth for the recommended desire that you please that you want to do to push yourself. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed day two of day seven. I hope you guys enjoyed day two out of seven for seven days of abs. And I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'll talk to you in tomorrow's video.